Are you looking forward to seeing her? Has totally blown well, you away already? Well, I, I would have liked to see Mercury Rev because I keep almost seeing him. And I'm not going to see him tomorrow because I've got to go to christening. So, uh, and I wanted to give them a tape of that teleprogram that I did because we used their music as a yeah. theme tune and I wasn't sure whether they even knew about it. So, uh, I've and blown I, that one. I like one. the Robinson Crusoe cannibals tracking that. Oh, you've got to have Robinson Crusoe. I mean, yeah, so, but do you remember that? Because uh, that I've was got always. The soundtrack, Robert Mellon. Well, yeah, well, that was, that was always very frustrating for me as a kid because it, it always seemed to finish. But, well, it, it finished after we went back to school, so I always missed the end. I mean, I. I Assume he got rescued. Yeah, he got home. Yeah, did it's, okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm glad you, you cleared that one up. <laughs> it's the nicest festival we've participated in, in in Britain, just in the terms of the way everyone is. And I think there are a, a high proportion of really good bands playing. Everybody seems to be quite friendly. You know, that's the thing. I don't know whether it's because everybody feels that they have something in common or something. But uh, I don't know. It is nice not to have that kind of feeling that suddenly somebody's going to come and chop your head off. It's created a better atmosphere than you would get at a festival when it's just loads of career bands having a kind of career move and we must play this festival because the NME will then review us. This is more of a kind of we're actually here to enjoy ourselves and it's noticeable when the bands are playing in the disco part everyone's kind of enjoying themselves in a fairly unpretentious manner. You don't feel like you're being sold anything here. If you go to a lot of the festivals now, although the festival, you know, obviously festivals, you know, going back through the years of Glastonbury, always felt like it should be just like people going to see bands and having quite a good time and I think in in recent years although they're still well-meaning a lot of the festivals you kind of feeling they've become rather corporate in a way. It seems a lot more community ori oriented and friendship oriented and um, more centered in in good music and not just in who's selling records and who's popular um, in the mainstream but sort of uh, who's really good. <laughs> there aren't too many arses here I don't think. It's a, a a rollicking good idea and uh, it certainly shows initiative on the part of the uh, people who uh, put it on.